Alright, time for another Disney versus non-Disney villains. This time, I'm caught up with round seven. One of the most awesome rounds with big awesome battles. Let's begin now. First off, Mad Madam Mim versus Messina. Both sorcerers have themselves a wizard's duel. Which is my favorite part because in the movie, Mad Madam Mim has some sorcerers a wizard's duel with Berlin. And now in this part, she has a wizard's duel with Messina. Mad Madam Mim, because she's one of the best Disney witches I have ever seen. She <clears throat> has now not done with Mim yet. <clears throat> yep, this fight is really cool. I mean, don't try to tell the witch is cool. versus Red. I got nothing else to say in this one. Even though know, Red, I mean, Luca, who was sent here by Scar and Zero to a contact with the Horn King and sent him to the challenge one of the most fearsome demons known as Red. Ooh. I first watched All About to Go to Heaven 2, I find it kind of cool. <laughs> it's really upset me because Carface has to be a sidekick for Red. Anyway, enough of the stuff. Time for Cruella de Vil versus Anne Fig. Cruella makes contact with Lifty to learn about the money. She's losing money because of the war. Sorry. This is and Vic to pay her the views. Ooh. I'm not really interested in Aunt Vic because even though she's going to come and join the movie, she's really something. Aunt Vic was just really. I don't know. I don't know what, what my thoughts about her. Actually, tell you guys the truth, I only love the Tom and Jerry cartoons when I was a kid, and still on air in Cartoon Network, I only watch the classics. And one of the talks to the screen is, I got nothing else to say. The songs are really, uh, terrible. Except for Gospel Future. I don't know. Oh boy, now we're time for the big awesome battles. Chernobyl versus Rescuten and Wasbard. This is one of my favorite fights ever. Wasbard and Rescuten get to join forces for the... <laughs> Sorry. As I was saying, Rescuten and Wasbard get to team up to take out one of the most powerful demons ever, Chernobyl. <laughs> but the problem is they couldn't use the map to take him out because Chernobyl was just way, way, way too powerful for him to beat. Which really makes him frustrated. Uh, but they decided to Really, someone from another dimension, known as there he is, the Emperor of the Night from Pinocchio and the Emperor of the Night. Oh my gosh! That guy is voiced by James Earl Jones, known as Darth Vader. <laughs> kind of awesome. 
liking the way you guys will start using the Emperor of the Night as the big gun. Uh, I got nothing. I got nothing else to say. I watched Pinocchio and the Emperor of the Night years ago. Actually, I watched it on YouTube years ago, and it was really awesome. Especially the Emperor of the Night, even though he was voiced by one of my by the same actor who was voiced one of my favorite baddies, Darth Vader. <laughs> well, actually. Alright, Jenna Bond, but I'm afraid this fight will have to go to the Emperor of the Night, Rescue, and Walk Fire. Way to go, guys. <laughs> now we got into Weinstein, Hollywood. Car facing Channel Wall opened up a new club. And it's far away from the war. And Hollywood decides to dance over it. Car facing Channel Wall decides to but sadly, she refuses to work with some animals. Uh, I never watched. I never watched the whole thing. Cool. All I, all I saw is the scenes of Hollywood. Uh, all right, let's check out Cool World. I recently thought that Hollywood. Was a good guy, but when I'm, when I'm sadly mistaken, but she's the bad guy now. Anyway, continue on. She meets up with Dirk and decides to travel into another dimension known as oh my gosh, live action, live action, the live action universe. And then Vice Guy and the Team Before decides to follow her because she was from another dimension. I love Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It was one of my favorite movies ever. Even in the combination of live action and animation, it's still kind of cool. Which is really happened in part three of Pokemon Heroes vs. Disney and non Disney villains. I wonder if it's really expired by Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But I guess it will, it will be. Because we got some nice future live action movies. But I wonder. Hold on. I got a few things to say. If Avatar Pepsi, if you're watching this, do you think we can make plans for Hollywood in sometime in the future? Because I have a feeling that we might use her as, as her animated form or live action, or maybe both, but. I don't know. I guess the animation part might be good. I have a few fine ideas we can get for Hollywood. Maybe we can have her fight Misty or Ash or some other Pokemon hero. Well, if you're watching this, maybe you should let me know. Ooh, kick the white guy. Cheese dip. Back in all right, the epilogue. Ursula disguised as Vanessa has the spell on Bolo. Which is now has been hypnotized. And the two of them are starting to get really into a little relationship. Oh boy. And now we got to turn to another famous bad Zigzag. Who decides to join forces with Luber, Wakwak, and Rasputin. Vanessa looks. Actually, Ursula has 
been discovered by the by Lady Swain. is really really awesome. I just love the big bad battles. Alright. <laughs> well next time I'm gonna do the homemade round and then I'll move on to round eight. This is Daniel here. Have a nice day.